Now, it's the start of the uh, big butterfly count tomorrow, where the public is encouraged to record their butterfly sightings. Well, today, two teams of experts have been scouring the fields and heathlands of Hampshire and West Sussex for the flying insect. Purple emperor and star-studded blue are just some of the exotic-sounding species they've been looking for. Alexis Green has been along to help. We can join her now. She's uh, in Bosom. Uh, was it a successful day, then, Alexis? Well, Sally, we'll find out the results from the challenge in just a second, but I can tell you my competitive spirit certainly kicked in today. There were two teams, as you said. The first led by Nick Baker, naturalist. The second by Matthew Oates, who works for the National Trust and is a butterfly expert. The team started here in Bosham in West Sussex very early this morning, and you can find out how they got on. So, Nick, I've sorted the weather for us. Please tell me it's going to be good for butterflies. Oh, it's perfect blue skies. Great, OK. May the best man, woman. Win? It'll be us, of course. No chance. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so we're basically trying to find as many butterfly species as we can in a day. Um, we've got two teams competing against each other. We are Team Woodwhite and we are tackling Hampshire. Um, team Glanville Fertillery is uh, ta tackling West Sussex. We're ahead. <laughs> They're behind. So that's a good start. A very good start. Marble white. Marble white. Marble white. Marble white. white. You see the marble white in there? Yeah, there's no time for complacency. We just had a, a dark green fertility fly past, big, powerful. Yeah, yeah, I saw that one. Zoom across, but it doesn't count because Tony didn't see it. Our adjudicator didn't see it. Oh no! So it doesn't count. So we have to find another one next now. We're looking for the king, the the, the best British butterfly, arguably the best butterfly, which is the purple emperor. This is your classic garden butterfly. Um, you know, people sometimes say you should leave a little patch of nettles in the corner of your garden in a sunny area. This is what you're aiming for. The female's just laid an egg on the tree, just one single egg, and they're just checking out if they can find it at the moment. All very exciting. What's the size of these things? <laughs> Tiny? Pinhead. Pinhead. Yeah. Oh, so it's a needle in the haystack, then. That's what we're kind of looking for. Yeah. So the website, if you want to find out all about the butterflies, is bigbutterflycount.org. Now, we do have the adjudicators here, Debbie Tan. Debbie, who's won the competition? We've checked the results. On points, I can tell you it was a draw. Team Wood White's got two more species, so they are the winners. I get, I get, I get, I get the butterfly crowd. This doesn't fit. Nick, how about that result? How are you pleased? Um, yeah, I, that, oh, yes, I am. It's absolutely brilliant. I mean, I think, I think everyone's had a blast today. It's been absolutely great. I mean, it's been like a furnace out there, but it has been good, good fun. We've, uh, well, yeah, we've seen loads of stuff, and that was a proper surprise. I really thought you guys had got it. I really thought you got us on the on the line there. So yeah, really, really pleased with that. So how important is it to track butterflies? Well, it's really important. It's good for the soul for a start, and what a better thing to do on a day like today. But also. Just being aware of what butterflies are doing, where they are, and, and how, they're, how they're doing gives us so many clues about the state of the countryside. Brilliant. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, it certainly is perfect weather for butterfly hunting. Back to you in the studio. Alexis, thank you very much. Who would have thought Butterfly Count could have been so competitive? And just to tell you that don't forget that throughout the summer, the BBC is celebrating the UK's unique and extraordinary wildlife. To find out more, visit the Summer of Wildlife website, bbc.co.uk forward slash summer of wildlife.